In this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize an existing WordPress theme so that it will support the WordPress custom menus feature. Perhaps you're using an older uh, free theme or a theme that hasn't been upgraded by the developer, but you want to be able to use the custom menus that came out in WordPress 3.0. In this video, I'm going to show you how editing two files, two theme files, and then creating the menu will give you that function and feature. So what you need to do is you need to come into the back end and say you'll know if your WordPress theme actually has the capability of creating a custom menu. If you come back here and you get this message, your theme does not natively support menus, but you can use the custom menu widget, meaning you can create custom menus. But the only place with your theme, the way it is if you're getting this message, is the only way you can use custom menus is in the sidebar. So you can create them and you can have custom menus over in your sidebar. And if your theme does not have any horizontal navigation like this, that would work just fine for you. You don't need to do anything else. Just drag the custom menu widget over to your sidebar and you're good to go. Um, but if you have horizontal menu like this and you want to be able to use a custom menu, then you're going to have to change two files in your theme. So let's come over to the editor. And the first file we're going to change is we want to look for the functions.php. We want to click that. And then we need to add a little snippet of code to that and we're going to add this right here. Just this little code. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it. You want to make sure it's before this right here and um, it, the functions file gets a little bit particular um, there can't be extra spaces before or above you know like at the beginning of this file or at the end of this file so try to find if there's other um, things registered uh, like in this particular case a sidebar and just paste in the menu code right in the middle of that this particular theme doesn't have a lot in the functions file some of them have quite a bit so I usually paste it like um, like below the last line and before a closing thing like this um, where it's registering the sidebar so that works really well and you just click click update sometimes you have to click it more than once to make sure it saves it um, and then usually the horizontal navigation, the upper navigation on your site is usually found in the header.php file. That's usually where it's calling in that WP list pages code and that's what you're going to look for. You want to come down and you want to see how it's, I found it right here, it's the WP list pages. This right here is, you know, what I'm looking for. And so I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to take this code right here this is saying, okay, instead of doing the normal list pages, we want to now pull in the, the custom menu. We're going to do the navigation menu, the custom menu, and you just click update. Now in this particular theme, it also has here um, coded in this home button. For right now, I'm going to leave that in there. You could technically remove this and it would remove that default built-in home button but most people want a home button anyway so if your theme's already got it in there just go ahead and leave it in there and it's not a big deal and then all the other navigation structure that you create would be using the custom menu structure because you've added the code to the uh, functions file and you've added this bit, bit of code to replace the WP list pages in your header file so then I'm going to click update and then the next thing I need to do is I need to actually come over here and create a menu. So I'm going to click menus. Now you'll notice that that little warning message is gone. So I'm going to click and just you can call your menu whatever you want. Um, just this because you can have multiple menus created, maybe some for your sidebar, you know, or, or some for your horizontal. You can, you know, you can create as many custom menus as you want. So to identify this one is my main menu, that's usually what I call it. I'm going to create that. Now it's still going to tell me it doesn't support any menus, but because we've added the code to the functions file and to the header file, we know that it's going to work even if it tells us it, it's, it's not. It's still not giving us any error messages. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to click and add, you know, choose the pages that I want and I'm going to add those. Um, if I also wanted to add a category, and this is a beautiful thing about custom menus is before, you had separate code that would list all the pages together and then another separate code that would list all the categories together. In this instance, with custom menus, you can mix it up. I can put a category in between a page if I wanted to. And then just click Save. Okay, now all I have to do is come over here and click Refresh. And there you go. Here's the, the standard already pre-coded in Home button. 
here's my recipe box, this is my WordPress category, and then here's the sample page. And it's really that simple. Just edit two files with the code that I'm going to give you, and then go over and create your custom menu, and save everything, and you're good to go. Hope that helped you.